Hey guys, what's up? I am Dustin Dean. And I'm Shakara. I am not stoned. I just have red eyes from allergies. I just want to clarify that just right up front. Just like, I know some of you guys have them huge TVs. They're like 100 <laughs> inches wide. And I know you're looking, look at his eyes. They're glossy and they're red. Look at him. He is stoned. I'm calling the government. No, I'm, I'm just allergies. It's a windy day. Yeah. Aller pollen and stuff's kicking up. Allergies. So calm down, guys. Hey, we are going to. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Yeah, the look on your eyes. That scared me a little bit. That scared me a little bit. <laughs> Should you hold mom back? <laughs> give me that. Just give me the give me that. Today we are going to bend calves. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is my first time bending a calf. I don't want to come across as a how-to and act like I know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to, to do it and I'll tell you how my thoughts on, on that. So I just don't want to be like, okay guys, what you want to do is you want to gently put the testicles right through there and always make sure, I don't know any of that. I'd even YouTube this. I'm just going to with it. I'm just, I don't have time for YouTube. <laughs> I have time. I have time for my channel. <laughs> Strike that. Okay. All right. Who's, who's first? Let's do dumb one. <laughs> Don't say dumb one. Cause that might be Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Let's do. Uh, let's do. Let's let's do this one. It's always first of all. All right. So we have. So what you want to do is, I'm going to do this, this, and this. This is called calf wrestling. Come on. Flip it. Flipping. That's called bulldog. One, two, three. All right. Got that? Okay. One thing I do know from being a boy. I do know that the bag has two balls in it. And I want to count. One. I'm only feeling one. So somewhere up in this guy. Okay, I got both of them there. Oh, see that? Both balls wanna. Slime out of there. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. I'm releasing. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm-hmm. I just want to make sure I got. Oh, that's pinching. Oh. Sorry. Okay. I feel. I feel both. Both balls in there. Okay. He's banded. Hey, my foot's not wrong. Huh? Hold on. Okay. Okay, Dutch. Or should we call you Dutches? <laughs> that was bad. That was, that was a little blow. Sorry, Dutch. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> oh, we, <laughs> that's right. Okay. Can you get ready? Huh? All right, reload. So, my thoughts so far is going into that. I, I immediately realized that there's, for anybody, so if anybody's looking to this as a how-to video, and this is my first time, I immediately realized that inside the sack are, are two uh, testicles, is the, I'd be the doctor, I don't know mm -hmm. the terms, I'm horrible. Inside the sack are two, two testicles, and when I grabbed the sack, one immediately shot back up and so I had a hold of one testicle and that was where you guys kind of saw me struggling and um, I'm trying to find that that second testicle it seemed like it it was no longer in the sack anymore it kind of went up in the in the cow and I finally got a hold of it and I had to squeeze it up out and then um, make sure that both testicles went through bag and all and then I just pulled it off so that's my experience so far that wasn't too bad mm -mm. 
All right, let's bulldog another one down. Pull out. Okay. We got a bucker. All right. Okay, feeling for the nuts. I got one there and one there. Looking good. Oh man. Oh, that's not working out how I thought. Push both up. Okay. Yeah, they pop around, don't they? Mm-hmm. Hold. Oh. Hold, 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 hold. Okay, that was probably really unpleasant for him because we got both nuts in there. So you want to get a close up of this, Wyatt, real quick? There's the there's the band. Both nuts are in there. And okay, let's go. Hey, let him up. All right. Now there's probably better technique than that. And if you have one, a better way of doing it, leave your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And uh, yeah, that was that was fun. Yeah. So I don't know if I explained this. What happens is, is when you put the elastic band on it, it cuts the circulation off, and they eventually um, uh, kind of pretty much just dry up and fall off. Mm -hmm. And from what I've heard, it's a more um, humane way of castrating than to cut. The other way of doing it is just take your, your pocket knife. Hold on, I got one. I always have one. The other way of doing it is just take your pocket knife and just make a little slip, pull the nut out, cut it. Just and, uh, like we would do with the pigs. Yeah, and feed it to the dogs. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I've always done it with the pigs, and it's pretty. And it's your for sure way. This I'm kind of iffy on. Well, so we'll see. Okay, so we're feed. We feed the calves now out of a bucket. So this is like the next day since they got banded yesterday. You you just look at them. You can just tell it's just not phasing them at all. They're just totally happy. They're just like they're just like whatever, man. We got our milk. We got our field. Life's great to be a cow right now, but I will say, when we raised pigs, uh, we would have to cut them, and that was, it just seemed like it was just such a painful process when you'd have to cut your pigs, and then they'd, you know, they'd bleed, and then they'd be sore for a couple of days, and they'd, they wouldn't eat, and it just put a lot of stress on them, but banding the calves, like, you look at them, they're just like totally good. They they're happy. They're good. They've got their milk. I just think this is the best way to band an animal, um, you know, to to neuter them. Or as or as Brody said yesterday, Mom, Dad, their giblets are gonna fall off. <laughs> so. They just look a lot better. I'm just really happy. Just they don't act like they're in pain, and they're just enjoying life, eating the grass, and being a cow. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.